Welcome everyone. I think we're about ready to start the tour. There are a lot of us today, so don't be afraid to squish in real close. Make some friends. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. If you haven't picked up your red information packet, you can get that from Valerie in the front. Can everyone hear me? Hi, Valerie. Okay. All right. My name is Brad. My name is Megan. I'm in my third year at Loyola, majoring in communications. Majoring in Spanish. So please let me know if you need me to speak up. O si usted me necesita hablar en español. And please feel free to stop me at any time with any questions, please. This tour isn't about me. It's about you. So holla. Now before we begin, I'd like to thank you for taking my tour. I mean, this tour of Loyola's beautiful Lakeshore campus. You know, I know part of the reason why I decided to come to Loyola was the awesome tour I got from Derek when I was a visiting senior. And now Derek's my coworker <laughs> and my boyfriend. Actually, my mom was a tour guide at Loyola and her mother was a tour guide at Mundelein. So I take this work study very seriously. Very seriously. Okay, put on your mittens, we're going outside. All right, during the tour, I'm gonna be walking backwards. So, like, let me know if I'm about to run into anything, okay? I don't want to die today. That would be bad. Okay, so the first stop on our tour is my favorite stop. Majestic Lake Michigan. They say the lake is actually big enough to fit the entire country of Ireland inside with room for cream. Irish cream, I guess? <laughs> is anyone here Irish? It's actually the deadliest lake in North America with more downed vessels than all of the other Great Lakes combined. But that's not like in our information packet, it's just something I read in Time Out. Is anyone interested in history? Now, most of our first year students live on campus, which means the rumor about Loyola being a commuter school is just totally not true. Unless you consider crossing the main road a commute, which, okay, I do. So behind us we have the old Jesuit residence, that's where all the priests live, but we'll get back to that later on on the tour. And you guys? That place is sick. I mean, like, so nice. I went in there once for a student leadership dinner, and I was like, if this is poverty, bring on chastity. We also used to have a convent, but now it's a parking lot. Oh, we do still have nuns, yes. They just don't live anywhere. I mean, well, obviously they live somewhere, probably in the... Um, that's a really good question. I'll ask Derek. Actually, my nun was a uh, Sorry, my... My great aunt was a nun here. Uh, my grandfather used to joke about his sister, the, the sister. <laughs> so way back, like in Jesuit days. Her father worked for the old Morton salt factory. You know, the one with the little girl, the umbrella, and the bad packaging. They couldn't afford to send their children to college, so my great aunt joined the convent for the free education. There was this story. And for the greater glory of God. Well, myth really, about a nun who fell in love with a... I might not be allowed to tell this. Sorry, I'll stick to the tour. <laughs> sailor, fell in love with the sailor, swear to God. Oh, and speaking of God. Madonna de la Strada. Madonna by the lake, because it is. As you can see, the chapel was built in classic Art Deco style, so it was completed before my great aunt, the sister, arrived in 1935. I mean, it wasn't like a full on affair. She was a nun, for Christ's sakes. This could very well be where she took her final vows. He was on shore leave, just a kid, really. 18, 19 at most. Sorry, <laughs> I'll stick to the tour. He'd never been to Chicago before, and the bigness of it nearly scared him right back into the lake. All the beautiful stained glass. So he made his way here to this giant cement sanctuary, far away from the depression-rattled city streets. And he sat on this bench, overlooking the lake he had just sailed in on. This is interesting. Somebody sit on the opposite side of that bench and face away from me. And he prayed. Now say something. Anything. Mother Mary, what am I doing here? I feel like I'm drowning. Take my hand, please. <laughs> and I can hear you all the way over here. Isn't that interesting? It's because the bench is shaped like an arch. I don't know, it's math. <laughs> now, and because my great aunt, the sister, was sitting on the opposite side of the problem, she heard his prayer. So a voice from out of nowhere answered him. Yes. Said the voice. She said yes. They both thought they were hearing the voice of an angel. Sorry, God, I'll stick to the tour. Da, 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 da. Information Commons. This here is the quad between the old Jesuit residence and the lake. So anything you did in the quad, you did literally in front of God and the universe. So like no frolicking on the grass with your handsome sailor boyfriend, eh? The building's also equipped with quiet rooms, computer rooms, flat screen conference rooms. Okay, so what they would do is sit on the quad with their hands on the Bible, hers right on top of his. 
So anybody walking by would be like, oh, they're just praying. And in a way they were. Oh, there's also a coffee shop. Wow, you know, we are making really great time. I should walk to my classes backwards. Oh, not that I'm ever late for my classes. I love my classes. The sister was late for everything. The sailor was always on time, which meant that he spent a lot of time just standing around with his hat in his hands waiting for the nun to arrive. And a lot of that waiting took place right here. Kudahi Library. I have never set foot in that building. This here's the future location of the Dinobili Hall. It's going to be a self-sufficient building. But they had nowhere they can go. He couldn't introduce her to the guys. Self-sustaining? She couldn't bring him into the convent. I get those two confused. So they made their own place. It makes its own energy. In plain view of everyone. Self-reliant. Sorry, <laughs> God, I'll, I really need to stick to the tour. Norville Center for Intercollegiate Athletes. If you care about sports, which I don't. It's not that she didn't care about her back. She did. It's what made it so hard. Sorry, this is hard to do without looking back the whole time. Is anyone interested in history? He'd been around the world and never met a woman like her. Salt of the earth. Morton salt. Par. Coarse. She was looking for a lifetime of service. <laughs> but how could she care for somebody until somebody had cared for her? You know, yesterday this was a tennis court. Today it's a Quiznos. Everything changes so quickly, she said. What? He yelled as his ship pulled away. Look up, look up! Can't you see it? You're in the middle of a country, in the middle of two oceans, only miles away from the moon. Don't just sit there. Get up! Do something, do something, do something. But I'm rambling. Because for a long time we didn't have a gym, so we rambled. That's why we're the Loyola Ramblers, get it? Centennial Forum. This is where everything happens. The Phoenix. The Greeks. LSD. Lakeshore Diner, it's only a buffet. Karaoke. Billiards. Ten dollar cup tickets. I don't know, a big room. Mulati. My bank. Mertz Hall. Mertz till it hurts. Student services. Clubs. A la carte. Freshman 10. Snack machines. Freshman 20. Lots of new choices. Where to next? But nobody she could talk to, nobody she could tell. Tell me your problems, he said. I can't tell you the problem, she said. You're the problem. No, that's the problem. This, this is, is where, where everything happens. happens. This is why. Don't you see? This is it. Stop it. Stop it. People can see us. We do this to ourselves, Mary, and we make these rules, these boundaries, and we call them opportunities, but the real opportunities are right in front of us. Just take my hands. Why do we have to meet? Why do we have to part? Oh, we should pray. Why do you bow when you're talking to God? Ain't God supposed to be up? Just <laughs> please hold your questions. Look up, look up, the whole world is out there. Tell me that ain't God. We should move up. If you leave, you can never look back. Why? Because I'll turn to salt? It's too late. It's not too late. It's too late, it's too late. We took a vow. To who? To God? To country? To serve, and so did you. We gave our word. Please, just take my hand. It ain't a promise. It's just a hand. Please. And this is where all of that happened. Look, a kite up in the snow. Wow, that's never happened on a tour before. Loyola has seven campuses. This is our Lakeshore campus, which makes it my favorite because of the lake. You know, people think a campus tour is about the buildings, but it's not. It's a journey. So this building is red and this one is new. So what? The back of his neck smelled like salt, and it reminded her of home. That's a tour. Just like that, we're back where we started. That's an education. That's a good question. If I had to pick one thing, I'd say it was the lake. When I spent a semester abroad in Rome, I missed my friends and everything, but what I really longed for was the lake. It's like it's always changing, but it's consistent. You can count on the lake, pushing up against the city, against the campus, against the walls of my freshman year dorm. I have to wonder, where is it trying to go? This violent, unmoving body of water? Where does it think it's going? Unfortunately, our time has come to an end. Where is it trying to go? I hope you all come back. This unmoving thing? I could go on.
forever. Does, Does everyone, everyone know, know where they're, they're going? going? 